Hi, I'm Melga Valovirta, and this one is about Soldano SLO 100. First, let's listen a song from my forthcoming third solo album, which has vocals on every track. We're gonna hear now an instrumental version, because I'm not gonna reveal the vocals to you yet. I recorded that all guitar tracks with the SLO 100. The version that will be on the al album, it will have JGM 800, because you know. But I just pre recorded that with uh, SLO. So let's listen that first, then let's go through the amp and how it compares to PV 5150 Black Letter, Mesa Boogie, Mark V, and Marshall JGM 800 2203 from 1984, also known as the Bad Boy. All right, rock and roll.
so a little bit noodling. This was the sound you heard on the on the song. First, the signal chain and gear. So this time, one of my old Tokai Les Paul customs from uh, early 2000s with EMG 57 and 66 pickups in standard E flat tuning. Then it goes to my pedal board, but I didn't use anything, not even SD1. <laughs> and then it goes to KHE Audio's amp switcher, and then to the amps, and the cabinet I'm using is a Marshall Vintage cabinet with the Marshall Vintage speaker, the original V30, kind of my go-to cabinet. And the Soldano, I checked from the website, the Soldano cabinets, they have V30s too. I believe those are Celestans, but in that same range. And uh, on the song, the left guitar and the solo, you know, the track I filmed myself, it had a two SM57s in the Fredman style and the right guitar, which I doubled afterwards, that had a single SM57 and a SC Electronics VR1 ribbon mic. Now what you're hearing is the same cabinet, the two SM57s in the Fredman style and a tiny amount of that VR1 ribbon mic blended in. So that, that's the... That's the tone, no overdrives and nothing. Now, let's go through the amp, amp first, and then, then you know, compare, so you'll get an idea. So it's a two-channel tube amp, 100 watt, with 606 power tubes, and doesn't say the preamp tubes, but I'm pretty sure they're 12 AX7, so ECG 83s. Same thing, in a, you know, in the States, you call them 12 AX7s. Here in Europe, we call them ECC. 83. So there's a bunch of those, you know, preamp tubes, cascaded gain stuff. Two channels, overdrive and normal, bright switch, which I had on, crunch and clean channel, which you can dial with a full switch. It doesn't so show what channel is, but the full switch has a has a LED. It's this very, very simple channel switch and effect loop on and off. <coughs> Then your preamp gain, normal channel, overdrive channel, basic tone stack, bass, middle, treble, then the master for normal and overdrive channels, then the presence and the depth, which on these new ones is a stock on the original ones that Mike Soldano made in the in the eighties. This was an like a mod that you know you need to request the, the depth switch. But now it has this, you know, pretty close to fifth one fifty because I guess this was one of the inspirations of that amp. And in the back, there's effect loop, which you can turn on and off, and a level control for that. So you can actually use it as a lead boost. So listen, now it's no effect loop. So the way I said it is, I didn't use it on the song, just give a little volume boost. There's nothing nothing in there, but obviously, you know, if you have a delay there and you set it a little bit louder than the amp in general, then that's your kind of like lead, lead channel, lead, lead sound. That's that. Let's check out the, start with the with the clean channel and it's crunch and clean, quite the same, like on the, on the 5150. <laughs> Switch to crunch, chorus off. I need to change my pickup switch because it doesn't. Yeah, now, now it works, so yeah. Sounds 
so you can get a lot of gain out from the normal channel too, like on, on a on a 5150. Then so let's switch to the overdrive channel, go through the, the tone stack. So I'm having the gain now on five. Insane amount of gain and the, the bright switch. Yeah, it's just nice, nice top, which which I I like. Then the bass. Where I usually set it, where it just opens. I think it was around six. Don't really pay attention. And the meat, the meats are quite a. Uh, they kind of like. Do tune to like. A lower kind of mid or mid mid mid, like all oh, is really thick and oh, almost tanky if you're not careful. The, to me, the the mids are actually quite close. What a plexi has this whole oh, kind of woody woody mids. Now it's cooked. I think I had them around, I don't know, four. But it just kind of kind of opens. The treble, there's not. It's not also very high frequency because I have it on eight and it's still like fairly. <laughs> but this is this just amp is like you really can't get out of a like a bad sound because it's it's not harsh even if you crank the, the treble. And then the master volume is just, you know, I have you know six now, so pretty loud to get a little bit of that. Actually, quite a lot of the power to like, woof, you know, woof, <laughs> that thing. Because the, the cabinet is in another isolated room, so I can, you know, crank the amps, no problems. And I'm monitoring myself via the Evo audios SC3070 monitors, so I'm not hearing the cabs. It's it's there. And then the presence. <laughs> It's also really smooth. So, you know, to me, well, again, quite like 5150, doesn't really do much before 7, and then you start to get the, the you know, bite, at least, that I, I like a lot. To me, it could have a little bit more bite, but, you know, I'm so used to 800 that. And then the depth, it's, it's so presence and depth, like on usually amps, they operate in a power ramp. So how much kind of woof, woof, woof you, you want from the amp? Way too much. Yeah, very open. Five, I think it was on five. Yeah, so it's capable of clean sounds, milded over and driven sounds to really high gain sounds, and it has that to me that classic ho 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 wooliness that it's it's really like Soldano thing. You'll hear when I compare it to the other amp. So first, the obvious one, you know, Eddie used SLO 100 on on for unlawful carnal knowledge. Then I think he used the 5150 prototype on a couple of songs. You know, he, he got the amp when they were doing the, the F-U-C-K album. So, yeah, well, let's listen. You hear. First, the Soldano.
as you hear, 5150 has that high silver bite that I like a, a lot, and it's a bit more modern sounding. At least to me, SLO is, is a closer to the kind of vintage plexi, but just, you know, turbocharged. And the 5150, kind of same family, but more modern sounding. I actually have the, I think I have the settings pretty much same on, on both both amps. So 5150 is just more modern. I mean, that's why it is so popular among metal players and the SLO one which isn't. <laughs> The feel is a bit different. To me, 5150 is, is faster. It's really fast, really, you know, it really grabs my sound, what I do. A bit faster than the, than the SLO, more modern. Okay, then the Mark V. So first the SLO. <laughs> Five is kind of like a, it's so versatile and you or at least I can make it sound pretty much like any amp. But again, the way I said it, it's the my favorite overdrive mode on this, the Mark II C Plus, and a little bit kind of like V style. But let's make this actually sound more like a like a SLO. So I just boost a little bit more 750 and take down the 6.6k. <laughs> upper mix. Uh, it's not, you know, there yet, but with a little bit more tweaking, I can make them pretty close, so <laughs> amazing, amazing amp. And, you know, the Mark IV mode, it becomes even bigger and, and and fuller. So, yeah, the way I said Mark V, a bit more uh, kind of modern, if you will, a bit more highs, because bad boy. Okay, first the SLO. Uh. SLO, and it's noisy.
bad boy is it's unique and i'm boosting that with sd1 because you know 800 doesn't have that much gain as these other amps so there there is that and now let me show you the boogie and the bad boy Let's add a bit more upper mix, a bit more bite. So I, the boogie is, you know, actually not that far. And it's on the 2C plus mode with the second channel scrunch mode. It's even closer. Okay, once more the SLO now compared to all the amps that I, what, what the way I usually set them, kind of my go-to. So SLO first, I'm just gonna play a simple chuggy. I think they all, all sound great. Soldano is like the character, is kind of booty, oh, low, low mid stuff. 5150, the way I said it, pretty modern high gain, you know, tone, no overdrives in front now. The boogie, classic and Mark Juicy Plus, kind of tight, little, little bit scooped, really like, like fast response. And the bad boy is a bad boy, you know. It's an old mid motherfucker. <laughs> it's quite noisy, but it's there's this, which is part of the charm, and it's to me it's just so open and so fast. It just amplifies my sound like I hear it in my head, you know. Conclusion. It's a great amp, booty sound. Not necessarily if you're looking for a modern, fast, responsive, high gay sound like a 5150. Uh, I'd go with 5150, but if you're looking for a more classic vintage, kind of plexi, but just with a, a lot more gay, and you don't need to crank this like, like I'm cranking to get the gain, because there, there is a bunch, because cascading gain. So, yeah, absolutely. Mark V, I mean, it can be whatever. The, it's so versatile and the, the graphic EQ, like, you know, that's if I would have to choose one and if we're not counting JZM800 and the bad boy, those out, the Mark V will be my choice. And JZM800, that's JZM800, to me, it's the best amp in the world. Like, to me, because I've been playing, my first tube amp was JZ Mayer on it, and that's just, I'm just so used to it. It's always like coming home with the SD1. But uh, I think the Soldano, you know, has its place. I borrowed this from a good music store here, actually really good, called Musics. You know, I'll put their link, the, their website link below because this is now I think they have two at least when I'm filming this so I'm gonna return this it's a great amp but uh I'm fine with uh, with my amps and if I want to have a booty high gain plexi kind of tone I, I can get it from uh, from mark 5 you know that works for me just just fine I don't need to spend 4k for that 
I already have that here. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was interesting and informative. Until next time, take care. All the best. Bye.